Hello and welcome my beautiful Capricorns. This is your general tarot and oracle card message for the week of June the 1st to the 7th. Your all over energy card that flipped up when I was shuffling it very prominent is healing. So some of you might be getting over a physical ailment. Maybe you've been feeling under the weather. You may have come down with some sort of flu bug or something. Others may have had a, a medical procedure that you're recovering and recuperating from. And others may be healing through a heart issue, an emotional issue, and a spiritual issue here. So healing, good card. It says you are healing. Okay, you're not going to be stuck in that situation forever. Coming in in the center of your reading, which is the all over energy of this, this reading, it's the Ten of Fire. It means something's over here. Um, you might have pushed yourself very hard. You felt overworked. You were stressed and imbalanced. And this is a card that says it's over. Okay, so if you're experiencing those feelings, you're going to find that it will pass. You could be healing through something that puts you in a, a position like this. Uh, that you, you know, a, that is the result of a situation here. So the Ten of Fire says, you know, sometimes it means that you felt that you were held down, held back. You pushed, you know, dead weight uphill. You might have been in a one-sided relationship, investing all the energy into it, and the other person wasn't. Um, this is a card that says you've overcome that. Okay, you've come to the realization you're not going to push yourself and be the beast of burden or take on other people's work and drama. This is a card that says those times are over. Now, crossing over this energy here, this is a challenge holding you back. Well, it doesn't look like much of a challenge to me because when you get the King of Fire, it's an excellent card. It means you're feeling more inspiration and more innovative and you have the gift of leadership and it's time for you to step forward. Okay, it's your moment in the sun and people are already to, ready now to listen to your words of wisdom. It's true that you, you love the spotlight too and what makes you special is that you use it. This is you going big or going home, putting yourself out there, right? Um, you know, you could be also doing something that's very important to you. The King of Fire can often have to do with uh, charitable issues. You might be uh, giving to the less fortunate. You might be helping other people out and not expecting anything in return. You have great possibilities here to do something like that. It's almost like entrepreneurial opportunities are stepping into, the, into your uh, energy uh, and into your circle right now. The King of Fire, you know, could be somebody also that you know that is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian energy um, that you could be in contact with that could be teaching you how to be a leader how to step forward okay um, this is also the card that says you care deeply uh, deeply about maternal issues in your home life as well coming in next you've got the chariot and this is what's coming in underneath you below you the underlying energy beautiful card the chariot uh, you could be planning a trip you could be wanting to take a vacation you could be buying a new car you could be test driving vehicles you could be taking a ride in many different kind of wheeled vehicles and that could include a plane the only one that doesn't have wheels is a boat so this is a card that says you've made accomplishments as well basically you come out the champion here there's risks there's consequences with situations that you could be dealing with but know at the end of the day that if you do your homework if you're mindful and make good decisions and choices and put yourself out there you're going to be able to see victory okay this is getting recognition for hard work and and, and efforts you've made towards something Coming in next, this is could be, um, you know, the energy that's leaving you or past tense energy. Yeah, the tower. The tower is a major change that may have happened to some of you, uh, which, you know, requires you to step up to the plate and rebuild a new foundation. I never look at this as a bad card because it's life changing and it gives you liberation at the end of the day. Sometimes you struggle for, with things that is very hard here, like this ten of fire, and you struggled and struggled and finally it comes to an end, you know, and the bubble bursts and, and you're able now to just shoot out of there and start something new so this is about feeling liberated and being able to do that it's definite major change when we get this card it's almost like a transformation a new beginning a rebirth for some of you don't be afraid it takes time rome wasn't built in the day one brick at a time as they say Coming in next above you, uh, this is the present energy you could be feeling. Well, I'm happy with it because it's a card of celebration. It's the four of wands, the four of fire. And that means there's security within your home base. You're feeling at home within a situation. The four walls are secure around you. It's a card of contentment, but it's also the card of celebration. Somebody could be returning home, moving back home, perhaps. But you're going to feel prosperity coming in. And it gives you this feeling of wanting to party hardy and celebrate. 
celebrate this occasion. So celebration is coming in for some of you. Coming in next, you've got the near future energy. So the near future energy is this beautiful seven of earth. So the seven of earth is that card I always say that you've planted your seeds and now you're waiting to hear how it's going to be, how it's been received and how they're going to respond to it. And, you, and sometimes you worry about it. It's like, well, um, did I do the right thing? Did they actually get my call? Um, you know, these types of situations. You might have put out a phone call, a text, a, a proposal, an idea. Um, anything like that okay so this is slow and steady movement don't be afraid to sit there and put your feet up and just wait know that you did everything right here okay you've, you've done everything right as you're going through this transformation and this new beginning well that was interesting to see a hot dog show up in the corner of my screen my husband made lunch and i guess that's what he decided we were going to have and he thought he was being nice and plunked it on my desk for me and he was nice and i thank him for that so that's what the hot dog was you just saw in my screen so getting back to uh to this card here um this is you know this is all about you waiting for something to happen here okay slow and steady remember wins a race right and um, there's a little bit of time here that you can just take time and wait. Put your feet up. Don't worry about this. You have time now to review your options. And remember, persistence pays off. This is a good card of unnecessary worry. Okay, whatever you've done is going to come to fruition here. So don't be, uh, don't, don't get all stressed out about this. Okay, if you haven't heard about something coming in yet or get a reaction. Okay, our next card here is the power and what we can what you can do about a situation well you know you're at a crossroads here this is a two of air and um you know things aren't moving too fast and your emotions are in conflict with your mind but don't don't sit there and hesitate okay this is about you making a an important decision and choice uh that you know you're trying to avoid right now and it might involve confrontation having to make this choice about another person it could be a legal situation where you might be you know having to make a choice over you know a settlement that's happening in your life a legal settlement so often i say uh, getting um wise uh legal uh representation and a mediator often will solve this issue where you can see the cards laid in a fair and equitable manner on the table so your choice will be a lot easier for you to make coming in next this is how other people might influence you right now okay uh this is the emperor lean into the wise advice of this particular emperor okay don't be afraid to do that this is about being organized and, and taking a leadership role here and being structured that's what this emperor represents but you can do that yourself okay this can be you taking on the energy of this emperor and moving forward crossing your t's dotting your i's and getting your ducks in, ro in a row this is not about making sudden decisions and choices this is about being represented here this is about knowing the right decision and choice you have to make this week okay so don't be afraid to do that step up to the plate and realize that you have the ability to be in control of of your actions and of your emotions and of your decisions and choices you're making this week coming in next this is your hopes and dreams and where you might like to be the night of earth well the night of earth is slow moving uh, is slow moving again but remember you're healing through something here and you might be staying home and taking time off work some of you to heal through a situation don't get stressed out about that as i say take the time that you need you can take time right now to be organized and responsible because like the emperor that's what he is he's logical and organized this particular night is the slowest moving night out there he doesn't go rushing in to battle he makes sure he plans his move and confidently he goes in there and comes out a winner so be more organized and take that responsibility because you will be supported if you do okay this is a card that says you know take your time don't make any rash decisions don't make any moves too quickly take your time maybe you're healing through something here and that's what you need to do your final card is the awakening and this is the outcome and the final card is the hangman 
and even though it says awakening in this deck but this is about a pause state of action again i think some of you are home taking some time off whether you're unemployed whether it's a break at your job whether it's you know you've had a procedure a medical procedure or something that you're healing through you definitely are taking time here to think about something no fast movement movement no jumping into anything too quickly okay um you're going to come out ahead here remember what i said about the transformation and the changes coming into you they, it's going to take time okay now this is about you not changing who you are okay and looking now having the time to look at things from a higher and bigger perspective looking at things differently look at him he's, hang he's hanging upside down so he sees his world very different than if he was upright okay so you've got time on your hands now to take the time to look at situations to change situations to replan when you get out there okay well my beautiful beautiful Capricorns this is your general reading for this week of June the 1st to the 7th and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic healthy happy prosperous and successful week looks like you're going to have some reason to celebrate something as you go through these changes here coming out ahead of the game the champion so I send you lots of love and many blessings and I'll see you soon my beautiful Capricorns